Hi Aquarius and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for August. Thank you so much for joining me today and this is a general reading for any Aquarius sun, moon, or rising sign and we can get a sense of the energies and the insights and the messages uh, for you in August that can help guide you. What messages or insights can you give us for Aquarius in August? What messages or insights can you give us for Aquarius in August? Okay, give me a moment to take a look at your cards here. Uh, very interesting. We have a little bit of everything happening here. So let's begin with the Knight of Cups. So we see this Knight of Cups, and he is approaching with a cup in hand. Uh, the horse looks very um, under control. So and this is uh, energy, or could represent a person um, within your circle. That's how we look at court cards. And this type of energy, this is a sensitive person, someone perhaps a dreamer, a romantic, if you are meeting someone and dating someone and you encounter a Knight of Cups kind of person, they're show, they have uh, good manners, they are um, uh, very respectful, very tender-hearted, would probably be giving you some poetry or some poems, would be reading you poems, but there's a very uh, much sense of um, a sensitive soul. You know, knights go out for adventure, they have quests, and this romantic notion. So this is, you know, this is a, a very um, loving and kind of uh, caring knight. And this cup, this could, you know, represent getting a message or an opportunity, and maybe it's simply an opportunity where you're going to be meeting someone like this. Um, a lot of... Uh, healing attributes with these cups are very sensitive and emotional. Um, the flip side could be maybe a little moody or a little uh, too dreamy and not enough feet on the ground type of energy. So that's just something to think about. But this could be, you know, it could be something that you would benefit from this energy or someone that you're going to encounter. And then we have the Ten of Cups. And this Ten of Cups, you can see the couple with the children are raising their hands in awe of the cups and the rainbow. And this is a card about really reaching, reaching the rainbow and securing the rainbow dream of a family and of community and the love from children and abundance and, you know, just having success at home. So this is, uh, if you are in a relationship, this bodes well, that you may be making it more permanent, and maybe you're going to be getting engaged or married or moving in. Um, if you're single, it should give you hope, perhaps, that uh, you keep your eyes open and get yourself out there and mingle. You might meet someone that could result in this, the dream of having it all, you know, having abundance and having love and all of those things, family and success that you are grateful for and showing abundance for. So, um, you know, this is, uh, could be related to our Knight of Cups. He could be the man if you're single uh, or, you know, the female equivalent coming in to make your life um, complete and whole. And that sense of wholeness continues when we see the world. And the world is the... Uh, the last card in the Major Arcana, and it's really the card of, of completion, the card of feeling whole, the card of um, uh, happiness and joy. You can see the woman here, she's either skipping or dancing, she's within this victory wreath, wearing her purple sash, and that purple uh, reflects intuition and psychic ability, and so, you know, she's got her wands, um, pointing above and below. And this is really a card about reaching your goals of reaching the end 
of what you've hoped to achieve. And it's a card of achievement and of really, you know, the world is in your hands. You know, you've, congratulations, you've made it. Now, this is, um, you don't stop here. You, if you, when you reach the things that are going to make you whole, you've got to keep thinking about what next. Where do I go from here? You know, what's, what's the next path that I'm going to take? So, uh, on your path, you know, you're moving right along to whatever is coming up next. We have the chariot. And the chariot has been really showing up in other signs readings as well. And so August is, this is movement, and this is control and mastery of where you're headed. And you're in the driver's seat, and you have the skills to take yourself to completion, to take yourself through to the end, to find your happy ending, your happy life with family. And this is, uh, you can see there's a black and white sphinx that is uh, powering the chariot. And this is really about navigating the oppositional forces. So, you know, we always have things kind of um, lined up against each other. So, you know, you are skillfully uh, maneuvering through those things, maintaining the balance, maintaining the control. This card also suggests a lot of confidence for you in August, that this is your time. And, you know, regardless of whatever things may pop up for you that might try to block you or might be an obstacle, you're going to be able to get around it. You're going to be able to drive through it and to get your recognition. And, you know, this is thought of as the winning card, as the victory card in the major arcana. So you will be able to be successful, to reach your goals, to feel complete, to have it all perhaps, using your ability to control and to uh, navigate. And uh, this is, so this is a very powerful card in helping you manifest and get to the completion, into the, into the, you know, your world, of making your world what it is. Along the way, in August, you're gonna have some Queen of Cups energy, which is wonderful, delightful energy. Now, again, it could be energy that you can take advantage of, or it could be, uh, you know, a uh, water sign that you're gonna encounter, maybe an older, feminine person, a woman who has a lot of these attributes, and um, this is a queen who is very sensitive, who is very much used to using her intuition and trusting her instinct. She's fair. She's compassionate. If you have something to run by, meaning some, if you need advice, she's someone who would give you great advice, honest advice in a very gentle way, perhaps, um, is, you know, is able to understand and to empathize with others. So she'll be able to understand where you're coming from with whatever it may be. And she's successful. She's a master of her element, which is cups, which is handling emotions. And this is the, just the right balance of emotions, of of um, listening and having a good heart. You know, this is a nurturing type of queen, and we have another nurturing queen within here as well. So this is, I think, very positive. This is, um, you know, uh, opportunity for you to, to listen to your intuition, to trust your instinct, and to uh, to get in touch with your emotions, to uh, have positive emotional experiences. In August, work is showing up, and this work is about um, doing a great job. This is the Eight of Pentacles, and you can see that this Apprentice here is working very hard without distraction. 
and is hammering away at the pentacles and is very proud of his work and is displaying it. So this is a card where you are working hard, you're doing a super job, this is skilled work and so maybe you're in programming, maybe you're um, uh, making jewelry or doing something that requires some precision. And this Eight of Pentacles, uh, you're doing it without distraction, so you are 100% focused. And you can see there's a little town in the background, but you know he's not, he's not looking at the town, he's looking on doing the best job that he can do. So therefore, Aquarius, you will be uh, doing the best job that you can do in August and giving it your all. And, you know, this is work that you find fulfilling. And this is work that you find um, satisfying. It's not tedious at all. You know, if it was in reverse, it may be tedious. But for now, it's something that you really enjoy doing. With this Eight of Pentacles, you also might have an opportunity to learn from someone more skilled. You may be able to increase your knowledge base or to improve upon what you do for a living. This card suggests that while you may not be making a lot of financial reward right now, you will in the future and perhaps you're doing pretty good now. But this is a sense that if you continue along this path of working hard, of being dedicated and being skilled in your craft, that you will ultimately gain uh, security and financial success and recognition as well. So rounding out towards the end of August, we see this Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles, she's sitting there with her big pentacle and with a little rabbit watching her. And this is about uh, the Queen is the master of her suit. And her suit is Pentacles, which is about practical, grounded energy with respect to life approach, with respect to finances, with respect to work. It's really... Um, uh, Someone, the queen is someone who can do it all. She can manage her household. She can manage a business. She is resourceful. She likes to live well. So if she's working hard, she enjoys uh, spending and, and having some comforts uh, and is not uh, shy about, um, you know, keeping those out or keeping those hidden. She's going to um, enjoy the fruits of her labor. The Queen of Pentacles is someone that, um, you know, if you called and said, hey, I need, some, I need some help on this matter, can you come over and talk to me? That this is the type of person that would drop everything and come and talk to you. There's a sense of dependability, of reliability, of someone who is loving and caring, and that, uh, you know, if the Queen of Pentacles found out that you were sick, that she would bring you chicken noodle soup to make you feel better. So whether this is someone in your life, a, a sister, a mother, a wife, a grandmother, you know, this is very positive um, energy that, that really uh, takes hold of pragmatic and grounded um, approaches. And, you know, that helps you in terms of money, that helps you in terms of your career. With this queen, there's also a sense of really enjoying nature. You know, she is of the earth. And so, you know, listen to the queen and take some time out to get outside. Take some time to have some fresh air, to um, get some rays from the sun, or to be around beautiful trees or flowers or, you know, animals. So, uh, it's uh, always a gentle reminder from the Queen of Pentacles to appreciate nature and all of its abundance. And then along with the working hard and being skilled, you are going to feel perhaps you're working a little too hard in August, Aquarius. This is the Ten of Wands, and you can see this guy is uh, pushing these wands up the street. He's going to reach his goal. 
He's going to get the job done. He's got his head down. He's focused. He's strong. And so he's able to make it happen. But really, the real question here is, why doing it alone? You know, why are you shouldering all of the work yourself? This is a time perhaps that you can delegate if you have too many obligations, if you have too many responsibilities, if you've got too much going on, that if you can find a way to delegate, if you can ask people to do their fair part, to please chip in. You know, I can't make this happen by myself. I need your help. And this could help it happen in a couple scenarios. It could be in the home front. It could be you're so busy running the household and taking care of kids and trying to work that you just feel overworked, tired, and you feel burdened. And this could happen in the office as well, that you're doing a super job and people keep wanting to give you projects. And you're like, yeah, sure, I can do that. No problem. Maybe you're afraid to say no. Okay, I can do it. And then it just becomes too much. And what happens is then you begin to resent it or you begin to um, feel anxious or feel stressed out. And that affects your health. So to the degree possible, try to have honest conversations with people saying, I need some help here. I need you to help me get this finished. You know, if you're decluttering the garage or if you're building something and, and you need your kids to help you, you know, ask them. Say, hey, get off the Xbox and come and help me. So this is a card of working very hard and feeling that, feeling that you're burdened, feeling you're a little overwhelmed. And so it's going to be up to you to take some steps and some action to not let that happen. Let me just take a moment here to see if there's anything else that I've missed. I mean, but there's a sense of, of wholeness, of completion, of driving towards this wholeness, of possibilities, of, of the great happy, happy story, the uh, uh, storybook ending, someone's sensitive uh, potential date, perhaps dear friend, some emotional experience with a Knight of Cups, someone who is very charming and sweet and generous and kind. You've got some work in here. You've got overburdened. And then you've got some queens coming in to assist as well. And the queens each bring different attributes, which is emotional, uh, emotional sense, loving, intuition, and then the practical approach to balance it out. So let's take a look at um, some, an oracle card about love for you, Aquarius, and let's get a sense of what is happening for you in August for love. Okay, come out. Tolerance. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. Tolerance goes a long way. It's, uh, you know, it's always nice to see people show and demonstrate tolerance and to, to be tolerant of others and to be accepting of others. You know, uh, it's just, uh, it shows great maturity. It shows great openness to receive. And not everyone's the same. We're not all cookie cutter type of folks. We all have different experiences. We all have different challenges. Uh, we all want perhaps the same thing though, which is love. And um, to show unconditional love, you know, you have to be tolerant. You have to be accepting. You have to be open. And you've got to look for the good in others. You've got to see through uh, whatever veneer they may put up and give them, cut them some slack, give them a break. So tolerance is a beautiful focus for love in life, which is, uh, you know, be open, be aware of others. Others, people, uh, other people are, you know, different from, from you and, and I. Finally, I would like to pull a card, an abundance card from Doreen Virtue. These are relatively new. I think they came out in the spring. 
And let's just get a focus for the month in terms of abundance and things to work on. This is block out distractions. Your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention, so it's time for you to take charge of your schedule and working environment by, this is turning off the computers, turning off the games, turning off the cell phones, um, and just kind of disconnecting. Blocking out distractions, and maybe that requires that you go to a quiet place and meditate, or uh, you know, you need to go for a walk around the block and you can leave your phone at home. But this is going to, you know, when you're able to block out these distractions, you're a lot like the apprentice here in the Eight of Pentacles. You get great results. And there's also a sense of uh, freedom. When you're able to disconnect from electronics and things and, and Facebook and all the social media, there's a sense of freedom. And, you know, it's uh, way before those things were ever in existence. You know, people did just fine. People survived just fine. Let's see. You already know what these distractions are and you have the power to res responsibly block them out. Everybody knows what, what uh, is their weakness when it comes to distractions. So it's up to you to, to find a way to maybe chip away at the time spent uh, that is maybe not productive or things that are that are holding you back. You know, a little bit goes a long way. So Aquarius, I think that you have a really nice month of August where uh, you're gonna have the opportunity to feel whole and to feel complete and um, to have some good practical queen energy. I wish you the very best. And if you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, or comment. I really do enjoy um, responding to comments. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's a great way to show support and to stay connected. And I hope uh, I will see you again for future readings. Thanks so much and take care. Bye-bye.